Our court systems are in crisis. The Superior Court System of California says that tens of thousands of cases are being held every day due to shortages. Our Devin Truby shadows the vital role that our 54 court systems now banding together to find a solution. Some, it looks like another language. It's called stenotype. Translating a dictionary that's specific to Dixie Cooksey into English. I've been a court reporter for 40 years. That's a really good career. She works in a career in crisis. Dixie is doing a job that more than 70% of California courts are hiring for. And now with the schools closed, I think that's why we have a shortage. Court reporting isn't offered at many, if any, community colleges and universities, most specialized schools have closed. And if you find a specialized program, the chance of passing the test is 20%. That's always been the case, and it is very difficult. It requires just a lot of practice and dedication. It's a norm that's put Butte County in need. They only have two of the seven court reporters they need. The court is coming up with alternatives. It does have the potential to uh, delay proceedings. Fortunately, here in Butte, um, we have been able to avoid that occurrence by securing remote reporters um, and implementing electronic recording technology. But a judge has to approve it. That may be in conflict with California law, which is not a position we like to be in. Currently in California, you are mandated to have a court reporter for felony, criminal, and dependency and delinquency juvenile courtrooms. Pay heed to the right to a record for the purposes of appeal, which is a right provided under the United States Constitution. Butte, Placer, and Sacramento counties tell ABC 10 they have not held any cases because of the shortage. But in Placer County, court executives say the shortage impacts civil and family cases the most. Reporters aren't mandated in those cases, but people still want an official record in case of an appeal. Often we don't have a court reporter to provide to take down the official record. Um, and as it currently stands, we're also not able to take that down in an alternative method. It has to be an in-person court reporter. And if they're not available, then no record is taken. Or parties have to seek out their own court reporter through the private market. The state legislator has approved $30 million a year to hire reporters to fix this problem. But there is no one to hire. That is why the superior courts are asking for a statutory change. Be remote court reporting where the reporter isn't physically in the courtroom, uh, or it could be a digital recording of the proceedings. It's just not something you always think about. Not at all. <laughs> now, this holds up federal cases, but what are some of the other repercussions of this happening? Oh, definitely civil cases. I want you to imagine just a nasty divorce that's handled in court. Do you want to have to call your ex or rely on <laughs> notes for alimony or who gets what? Or do you want to just look at the official record without having to have any contact? That's what you want. And yeah. Even though it's not mandated, it is vital for these cases, for things just like that. Any new technology coming out with this? Yeah, so in January, there's going to be something, and it's actually called voice writer. So those are people that they're going to speak into a device in the courtroom. You're not going to hear them, and it's going to catch everything they say and create a record. So that gets rid of all that hard typing, that stenotype that you saw. So hopefully more people maybe could qualify for that. Well, and we have a lot of technology already that can transcribe. You know, we have voice to text. Yes. You know, there's things like Otter and different companies. Why not just use that? Yeah, that's a great question. But I asked the court reporter and she said, honestly, it's just not very good. It doesn't pick mm. up an accent or emotion that people are feeling in those courtrooms. It's really best only for yes or no answers in the court setting. So that's why it's just not working for this yet. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, Devin, thank you so much. I appreciate it.